these are the you know some of the photos that were taken. That's the, those are the uh, Dahmer. Uh, yep, these are you know obviously. It looks like the so let me ask you. I mean, like hanging on to stuff like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of what's the what's the rationale? I mean, you know. Well, the rationale is you know per per rule per Supreme Court rules and statutes, we have to keep um, exhibits that were entered into court. Mm -hmm. You can see everyone is this says it was entered into the court case uh, for a certain time period. To keep it's it's one year plus 120 days as long as somebody doesn't appeal. Mm. If somebody appeals within the first 120 days then we have to keep it uh, through the pendency of the appeal and then wait another 120 days. So the minimum, once a, a person is convicted, is 16. You know, it's, it's gun casings. It, it's nothing real exciting for the most part. You know, you have those, those cases that are the, the very high profile cases, but otherwise these are just, unfortunately, you know, average Joes and just, you know, you know just, um, I don't you know how to say that, just stuff. From a from a crime scene, because sure. that everyday crime scene stuff that it wasn't uh, entered as an exhibit. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, if you look back there, you know, what what could that zebra or that stuffed animal really have been? I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and sometimes when we've been back here, we've often thought, what is the story behind this? But you know, when you have so much work to do, you think about it for a second and you move on. You can see how many guns are truly, you know, in these in these cases that we had to have made specifically for them. Technologically speaking, the whole issue of DNA material, biological material, sure. and that too is, is part of when we go to destroy, that's something that we have, need to take into serious consideration because a uh, Supreme Court rule kind of gives us the, the guidelines that um, any exhibit that one would consider having possible DNA or biological material actually needs to be kept for 50 years, a letter of 50 years, uh, a separate order of the court, or whenever the, the final discharge of whoever the players involved, mm. you know, but it's the latter of, so the 50 years this, this would need to, you know, stay 